Hello and welcome to the family entertainment edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I'm sure you're keen to get into that hot seat, so let's get started. OK, let's take a quick check on the rules. Up to four of you can play the game and each of you will need to choose adult or junior questions. Then, for the first time ever, you'll be able to choose the type of questions you'd like to answer. There are three categories. General knowledge, entertainment and sport. Simply choose one and stick with it. All you need to do then is answer the 15 questions that stand between you and a virtual £1 million. As always, you can walk away at any time and there are the usual three lifelines available to you. Ask the audience, 50-50 and phone a friend. If you make it all the way to a million, you could be jetting off on a luxurious family holiday by entering our competition. So grab your remote control and let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Select the difficulty and category of questions you'd like to play. So, you want to answer the traditional general knowledge questions. Good choice. Let's see how far up the money tree you can go, starting with five questions to get you up to £1,000. Take a look at question number one. Well done, you've got the right answer. £200 if you can get this right. Well done, that's the right answer. Now, you've not used any lifelines, so they are still all available if you need them on this £300 question. You're right, well done. Question number four is for 500 quid. You seem pretty sure that that was the right answer. And rightly so, it is. Well done. You can guarantee yourself £1,000 if you can answer this question. Well, that was the last chance you could leave with nothing. And you won't be. Well done. It's the right answer. That's what I like to see. Five correct answers and £1,000 safely in the bank. This is where things hot up a little bit, though, as we try and turn that £1,000 into at least 32000 Here comes question number six. Now, remember, you still have all three lifelines remaining. You need a bit of help from one of your friends then. No problem. Could be a good move. Pick somebody to help you out. Hmm, I'm not too sure about this one. I think I can have a guess though. B is what I'll go for. It's a hard question though. I think your friend suggested B there, but I'm not sure they were overly confident. It's up to you at the end of the day. Well done, you just won yourself £2,000. OK, a chance to double that £2,000 to £4,000 now with question number seven. The very best of luck, here it comes. You'll lose a thousand pounds if you get this wrong. Are you sure you want to play this? You've just won four thousand pounds. Well done. Well, you're making very good progress, and you're now just three questions away from securing yourself a guaranteed thirty-two thousand pounds. The first of those questions is worth eight thousand. However, you would lose three thousand pounds if you gave me the wrong answer. If this is the correct answer, you'll win £8,000. 
And it is the correct answer. Well done. It's good fun winning money, isn't it? You've got £8,000 and I'm about to give you the chance to double that to £16,000. Now, the next question is number nine out of a possible 15. If you don't know the answer, you can still ask the audience or you can go 50-50. Best of luck. Here it comes. You had £8,000. You decided to play this question and you'll be glad you did. It's the right answer. You just won £16,000. Right, this is a very serious moment. You have £16,000. If you do get the next question right, you'll definitely be leaving with no less than £32,000. Give me a wrong answer, though, and you have to take a drop of 15000 Not good. I really do wish you the very best of luck. Here comes question number 10. Right then, going 50-50 should help. The computer will take away two of the answers, leaving you with the correct answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Right, if you want to use another lifeline audience, your job has already been made somewhat easier by two wrong answers being removed. Now, if you're ready, choose the remaining answer that you think is the right one. Well, that's a pretty close audience vote. Now, are you going to go for B? It's not very conclusive, is it? Has the 50-50 helped you win £32,000? It certainly has. Well played. You can breathe a sigh of relief now. You will not be leaving with anything less than £32,000. And you might as well play the next question as you now have nothing to lose. Get this right and I'll be giving you £64,000. Have a look, here it comes. I know you have nothing to lose, but are you sure that is the answer you want to go with? Well, you had £32,000. You now have £64,000. What a performance this is turning out to be. Brilliant. Right, the prize increases really kick in now. The next question is worth £125,000. And believe it or not, you are only four correct answers away from winning one million. You will lose 32000 if you give me a wrong answer and you've used up all three of your lifelines. Okay, you've risked £32,000, but it was a risk well worth taking. You just won £125,000. You could be about to lose £93,000 if you give me the wrong answer to this question. If you give me a correct answer, you'll win a quarter of a million pounds. Now, I would much rather that happened. The very best of luck to you. Let's have a look at question number 13 of a possible 15. You're playing for very big money here. So is that your final answer? You could be about to become a quarter of a millionaire. Or, of course, you could be about to lose £93,000. You've just given me the right answer. Terrific. You could now go all the way. Wow, this is a superb performance. I've just written you out a virtual cheque for £250,000. Now, hopefully, you can go further. I'm about to ask you a question worth half a million pounds. 500000 Remember, you have used up all your lifelines, so it would be a serious risk 
to just guess at this stage as you would lose £218,000. Have a look at the question. It's number 14 of a possible 15. You just risked £218,000. You had a quarter of a million. You now have half a million. Amazing. You are one of our biggest ever winners. Right, here we go then. This is your one and perhaps only ever chance to win one million pounds. You have no lifelines left, so you are either going to have to make a complete guess or, of course, you may well just know the answer. I should remind you of the massive amount of money you could lose, but think of what you could win. The best of luck, everybody here is rooting for you. Prior to becoming US president, this man was the governor of which state? Florida, Ohio, California, Texas. And I have to check that you are really gonna play this question. Is this your final answer? Amazingly, you've decided to play the million pound question. Now, you could have walked away with half a million pounds, but instead, you are walking away with one million pounds. You're a winner. Fantastically well done. Not only have you won a million, you've also got the chance to enter a draw to win a fantastic, all expenses paid family holiday. Just text the winning code to the number on your screen. Very well done and thanks for playing the family entertainment edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire?